shut it off, shut it the hell off, because we have things to discuss and very little time to do so in. So it appears that this past week on the CDN Twitter account, management is apparently not too happy with my remarks towards Leona Cato, her dad Dominic, and ROV part owner Penny Shaw saying that what was said by me in their regard was none of my business and wasn't my place to reveal such affairs. So now they want an apology out of me for what I said. Now they want me to say sorry for revealing what would have taken them until long after this company closes in 2027 for them to reveal themselves. Let me ask this. What the hell for? Why the hell should I apologize? Is it because Dominic is too much of a pussy to handle his parental duties? Is it because Penny is too much of an emotionally unstable bitch to make Dominic be the father he was supposed to be to Richie, like how he was to Leona? Or is it because Leona is too much of a pitiful waste to handle her business like a woman in the ring and has to resort to legal action like how her mafia cohort Lars Wilde is after breaking his ass bone? Newsflash for both of you. People get hurt and wrestling is unsafe. Grow some balls and deal with it or else you have no place in this business. If you don't like getting hurt and if you don't like to fight, then you don't belong here. It's that simple. So fuck your feelings, fuck your lawsuits, and fuck your apologies because you ain't getting one. And that goes double for Dominic. And for all those in management who are too damn sensitive to accept the truth. Miss Mendez, you were contracted to Ring of Valiance Wrestling. Therefore, a code of conduct is expected to be followed, especially in situations where insubordination and unruliness rear their heads. And lately, you have shown those two words. A crying shame it really is. So if an apology is not issued to management and to the Cato family, and I mean now, then consequences will bestow themselves upon not just you, but the entire band bloodline as well. Starting with your champions, Prez, Baker, and Robledo. They will be stripped of their belts, and you will be indefinitely suspended, Miss Mendes. Blah, 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 blah. That's exactly what you sound like, you stupid country ass bitch. You'll be suspended, you'll be fired, you'll be banned and stripped of your titles. You know something, Shantae? I want you to level with me here so I can bring your incompetent ass back down to reality. When the fuck is the last time suspensions, firings, title strippings, and most importantly, bannings worked around here? When, Sparks? And another thing, you're seriously willing to suspend and fire the bitch who got stabbed back in Miami by a racist, sexually sycophantic Karen and left for dead under your fucking watch? I still have the fucking scars from when I was stabbed on my fucking stomach because of that bitch. And yet you want to justify a fucking rookie suing me for being a little bit unsafe in the ring with her when ever since you sucked Deshaun Walton's dick, and according to him, horribly might I add, three years ago to get the fucking part ownership of this place to begin with, keeping this roster safe and healthy is the one thing that nobody in management except Narcissa Marcano has been able to uphold. I almost didn't leave Miami, Florida alive. I could have died that night if it wasn't for management's fucking incompetent nature. And shit has only gotten worse since the mafia came around. Hence why the band Bloodline is here to begin with. To restore order. To restore balance. Then again, with habitual homie hopping hoes like yourself running the company, there's never gonna be any order around here unless it's your scandalous skeezer ass going to the concession stands to order a fucking large hot dog to deep throat because you haven't had any dick since Deshaun left you for Mandy.
By the way, how's that dry spell of yours, Miss Sahara Desert Pussy? Is it still ongoing? Are you still unable to get your rocks off? Matter of fact, I'll do you one better. Are you even able to conceive a child after both Triss and Lyrica have tried to break your nasty hood rat back like all the D-boys in Atlanta have after they got a piece of that nasty yeast infection pussy? Now cut the fucking corporate shit and just admit it. You've always had it out for me since I first got to ROV. Even in times of me showing respect to you as an authority figure. Especially after I almost died on your watch. You've always had it out for me. So you know what? I'm done with incompetence and idiocy in management. This is why. This is why. See, this is why I'm so glad that Walton had enough sense to give MJH or Lady Prez, if you will, part ownership of ROV before Buckle Up. Because MJH actually knows what the hell she's doing. She actually knows how to conduct business, much like Narcissa Marcano. MJH doesn't have to be all in the videos, all in the matches, dancing and shaking her ass for table scraps at strip clubs in Atlanta because unlike you, she actually has morals and self-fucking respect. Everybody else may not have the stones to say this shit to you. Hell, even Zahaya Morgan and his Pepto-Bismol suit he wears may not have the balls to say this shit to you. But Shantae Sparks, I'm not everybody else. I'm not Zahaya Morgan. I'm Sapphire fucking Mendez, and I'm sick of a lot of shit around here being swept under the rug and forgotten for years on end. You're just a common street-walking whore whose grandmother is probably getting passed around in hell and used as a cock sleeve by Chris Benoit, Aaron Hernandez, and John Wayne fucking Gacy. And the saddest part is, Neither you nor your murderous clan joining brother even fucking care. Just like management doesn't care about the fact that people like Gunnar Casey and his so-called sons are allowed to work here. So you can trot your little thought bucket spiderweb yeast infection inside out condom residue smell and put the ether beat here because I'm flaming this dusty bitch. Community pussy having ass. The fuck back to the parking lot and go suck a few more dicks just to keep your damn job around here like your Donna from Black Ink. Because the fact that a blatant hypocrite like you allows Gunner Casey to be here and allows me to nearly die after being stabbed by Sophia Anderson yet has the fucking audacity to remotely justify me being wrongfully sued over supposedly being unsafe when you have people like that running around is absolutely pathetic and disgusting. But before I do, I want to personally, because fuck professionally, I want to personally challenge you to a fight at consequential comeuppance for your part ownership share. Fuck what you have going on with Lyrica and Honey at this point. I don't give a fuck about that. Because a real bitch needs to properly fucking teach you how to do business with true fucking valiance. Because I'm the only one with enough balls in this entire industry to fucking say that in the last three fucking years that you've had power, you have shown absolutely zero. Because you have crossed a line here tonight, several lines in fact, on both a professional and personal level, lines that you won't ever come back from, Firstly, I accept your challenge because I've been wanting to cave your fucking skull in for years now. You, just like Honey and Lyrica, got me fucked up. And since we want to get personal, let's get personal. Forget corporate titles. Forget the fact that we're wrestlers and fighters. We are females first and more importantly grown ass adults. The mentioning of my past relationship with Walton is one thing. I'm happy he has Mandy and that they're living comfortably in British Columbia with their kids. The mention of me stripping in Atlanta is one thing. That I can let go of. Because had it not been for stripping, I would not be here and I would not be as successful as I am. But your dirty, slum living, 
cockroach infested hut ass had to go so far as to disparagingly mention my dead grandmother who did everything everything she could to take care of me and my brother who did everything she could to feed us and make sure that we never got separated by the system because that's how fucked up life is for people like me and Deron you know it's funny it's funny you bring up my dead grandmother well what about your dead father huh what about your dead father who spent the majority of your miserable fucking life cutting gonna case his grass and got killed by him when his services were no longer required. Your dad, as honorable as he might have been, he was certainly one stupid son of a bitch to keep working for somebody whose daughter was racially insensitive to you and your now former best friend when she first fucking got here to this place. So you say fuck everybody else's feelings? You say fuck apologies? I say fuck you, fuck your feelings, and fuck your dead daddy who's likely having the devil's dick in his mouth for dinner. Now with all of that said and made clear and to the point, I'm dying to get to Fresno to fuck you up and put your monkey ass in your motherfucking place. Because your daddy wasn't alive long enough to do so himself. You know what? Fuck waiting for consequential comeuppance. Get your ass down here so I can cave your fucking skull in.